Today, this is our third video update for Tropical Storm Noc 10 or Waning, and also on Tropical Depression 11W. It is the 27th of July 2011 08 Zulu, 4 pm Philippine time or 5 pm Japan time. You're watching uh, Noc 10 or Bagyong Waning moving now across uh, northern Luzon. It has made landfall near uh, the Pakulao, town of the Pakulao, Aurora. About 10.30 a.m. this morning, Philippine time, it uh, was about uh, 40 kilometers northeast of Baler or uh, uh, 40 kilometers southwest of uh, southwest of Kasiguran, uh, Aurora. N uh, actually strengthened to a typhoon uh, strength uh, uh, just before landfall. Um, now it has weakened tro to a tropical storm with maximum sustained winds of 100 kph, gusting to 130. Wenning is moving west northwestward at 15 km per hour. Again, it was uh, last located approximately 70 km east of Baguio City, now moving across uh, uh, Quirino, Nueva Vizcaya, uh, and also in the uh, province of uh, Ifugao, and also just uh, west of the province of Isabela, west of uh, Santiago City, there. This is the uh, visible image taken uh, around uh, early this morning, just before Wanning made its landfall. And you can see uh, a cloud-filled eye. You can you can spot that uh, that circulation well, and, and this image, and you can also see there uh, making uh, that landfall uh, in Aurora. The central dense overcast really really good uh, here, and um, yeah, you can see that uh, the the uh, diameter and the overall uh, coverage of the storm uh, virtually uh, affecting much of uh, all of Luzon here actually and uh, this is the corresponding uh, infrared image and you can also see that uh, seems to be an eye uh, on the infrared also uh, excellent uh, convective activity actually rapidly intensified uh, um, turning from tropical storm to a typhoon in just around uh, 6 to 12 hours as it moved north of Camarines Norte, passing east of Polilio Island last night, and then again, as I said, making landfall here in Aurora earlier today. And uh, this is the latest uh, infrared image right now, and you can see that the convection has waned um, significantly now as it traverses the rugged terrain of the mountain province Cordillera administrative region here, with the, with the tall peaks definitely shearing the system at. And um, although we do expect uh, Wanning or Nocturne to survive the the uh, uh, approach here in Luzon, probably exit as a weak tropical storm later tonight here, you can still see some convective activity mainly to the south, and also that uh, flow uh, inflow f into the into the storm, uh, affecting as far south as uh, Visayas and Mindanao. Also, you can still see here Bicol region, which is. Uh, taken uh, brunt of the storm here uh, in terms of flooding and uh, deaths actually as it moves uh, as it moved uh, to the east of the region about two days ago and uh, you can also see uh, convective activity approaching uh, Manila and the surrounding uh, surrounding provinces but uh, definitely it is now we it is uh, weakening now um, as it uh, as it crosses uh, Luzon this is uh, the microwave image and you can see that uh, uh, again the, the activity now remaining primarily to the south and east. The microwave image uh, about six hours ago really looked great with the, with the eye wall well defined there. But as you can see now uh, barely noticeable there on the image here. Uh, but again this is still a strong tropical storm. Uh, can still bring lots of heavy rain and landslides and flush floods. In terms of signal warnings as of 11 a.m. Pagasa, still having that signal number two for Metro Manila, uh, again, uh, most of northern Luzon, here Isabela, Abra, Pangasinan, and Sambales, Tarlac, Pampanga, all of those provinces, um, central Luzon uh, as well. And uh, although the southern, uh, southern Luzon uh, provinces of uh, uh, Cavite here, Laguna and uh, and Batangas uh, only under signal number one. Also Mindoro provinces and uh, Camarines provinces and Albay 
uh, down to signal number one. Catanduanes and Sorsogon actually no signal warnings posted anymore. In terms of North Luzon, here we have Ilocos Norte, uh, Kalinga, uh, actually uh, Apayo here, and then uh, Cagayan Province uh, under that uh, signal number one. So, and uh, probably think. Uh, Signal number two will stay for much of these areas until their 11 p.m. update later tonight because Wanning is still moving across uh, Luzon here as a tropical storm. Probably won't weaken to a tropical depression, but uh, we uh, have to see. Uh, in terms of uh, actually, uh, in terms of in terms of rain, we have the uh, NOAA here estimates of uh, six-hour rainfall can see that the heaviest of rainfall rates is situated along the south and eastern side of the storm. You can see actually here uh, 25 to 50 millimeters of rain uh, in six hours. This is in six hours uh, to the southern Luzon area and including Mel Manila, um, probably Bulacan as well, um, Bataan, also those uh, Cavite, uh, Batangas, Laguna, and uh, Camarines provinces and also southern Quezon including Polilio. Polilio Island actually is under that uh, moderate to heavy rain. Um, the heaviest rainfall amount ranges from 150 to 200 millimeters just south of the storm center near uh, uh, Nueva Ecija, Tarlac, Pampanga and Pangasinan. The uh, provinces of Isabela, uh, Aurora, Quirino and northern Quezon probably experience uh, moderate to heavy rain as well of about 100 to 200 millimeters in six hours. Um, Mountain Province, uh, Benguet, and Ifaga are also going to be experiencing heavy rain uh, throughout the day as running moves uh, westward. Now the northern, uh, extreme northern Luzon of Ilocos Norte, um, Cagayan probably won't receive that much in terms of heavy rain, probably around uh, less than 100 millimeters in six hours here. Um, in, terms of, uh, in terms of rainfall reports as of 2 p.m. today, uh, we have Casiguran Aurora reporting 300 millimeters uh, have fallen 24 hours. These are all 24-hour rainfall uh, reports from a WMO. Uh, we have da Daet Camarines Norte reporting 170. Science Card and uh, Pampanga, uh, I mean, sorry, Pagasa Central Office in uh, Quezon City reporting 170 millimeters as well. Baler Aurora reporting 200 millimeters. Manila, uh, Naya Airport reporting just 70 millimeters. So, uh, lighter rainfall amounts there in the uh, national, national capital region. Legaspi Albay reporting 130 millimeters. And Viracatanduan is still reporting 270 millimeters. So, still. Uh, uh, light to moderate rain will continue for parts of Bicol region throughout today. Um, Masbate also reporting 60 millimeters, um, definitely having that lighter rainfall amounts now and uh, expect conditions to gradually improve. However, that southwest monsoon still being enhanced by running will continue to affect much of these areas for the next two days or so. Um, in terms of uh, in terms of news actually, uh, as I said, Bicol uh, region was hardly hit. Uh, was hit by uh, by Waning here, actually 20 dead all across the Philippines uh, due to Waning and five of uh, actually a five f family of, of five actually died in Camarines Norte and uh, uh, also two people were killed by thunder strike here in Cavite and uh, that is one of the uh, um, concerns for uh, for these types of storms aside from heavy rain having those uh, thunderstorm activity also the stronger cells and stronger parts of, of convective activity so watch out for thunder as well and uh, possible possible weak uh, tornadic activities uh, very weak uh, tornadic activity but still could bring some uh, strong winds uh, could last up to 20 minutes there um, uh, in terms of again news, uh, as I said, Beagle was uh, the hardest hit. Actually, a hundred thousand families uh, forced evacuation by the uh, by the government there. Also, a capsized boat in Iloilo, but uh, all of them were rescued. And uh, also, I'm receiving reports of fishermen uh, missing um, as well. So definitely, this this dangers will continue throughout today and into tomorrow. Strong waves, heavy rain will continue battering Luzon. Um, as I said, as running crosses there. Now, in terms of winds, actually, you're gonna use this uh, in terms uh, 
uh, me, uh, wind analysis from uh, from NOAA again, uh, also sh showing that uh, 35 knot winds around uh, 65 kph tropical storm force extending as far uh, away as 100 to 200 kilometers away from the center. Uh, the strongest uh, winds around 55 knots or 100 kph extending up to 100 kilometers away from the storm center here as uh, m the strongest winds are confined mainly to the north and northeast so provinces of uh, Saint Ifugao, Isabela and uh, Quirino and also mountain province uh, expecting that very strong uh, tropical storm force winds as well here and you can also see here the center uh, relatively light winds around 20 knots or just 30 to 40 kilometers per hour actually and also Manila uh, now on the lighter side of winds just uh, I'd say around uh, 30 to 50 kilometers per hour here and also the uh, the northern half of, uh, of Luzon, Ilocos Sur, Ilocos Norte uh, re receiving mainly lighter winds uh, lighter winds as well Quirin, uh, Quirino, uh, northern Quezon and Aurora will continue to receive strong winds around uh, tropical storm force winds of up to 85 kph will continue for parts of these areas uh, for the next six hours um, also Pangasinan will, will begin to see deteriorating conditions including La Union, Southern Ilocosur, um, Pampanga, Tarlac also uh, going to be experiencing strong strongest winds later uh, later this afternoon around 5 to 6 p.m. as winning moves um, across uh, La Union here now in terms of uh, in terms of uh, its exit across the South China Sea we have still lighter winds and uh, high sea surface temperatures on the South China Sea or West Philippine Sea that should allow uh, Waning or Noctan to re-strengthen to a perhaps a low-end typhoon um, by Thursday or Friday as it uh, moves well south of Hong Kong in terms of the steering uh, we still have these uh, subtropical ridges the main mechanism here moving uh, running westward uh, towards Hainan again the the computer models are in very good agreement in terms of, of the eventual track and you can see most of them predicting an exit in uh, La Union by uh, later today and an eventual track in Hainan in southern China it will pass well south of Hong Kong um, by Thursday uh, Thursday night here and this is also the forecast from JMA also uh, uh, forecasting that uh, general westward track across towards Hainan here JTWC also showing this again the, the, the weather agencies are in, in really good agreement in terms of eventual track of of one in here except uh, I'd say Pagasa mainly forecasting a a movement towards uh, towards uh, Hong Kong actually by Thursday night this is from their 11 a.m. update so they uh, they might have changed their forecast for the the 5 p.m. update but uh, again uh, Pagasa in terms of, of short-term forecast uh, in good agreement as well uh, forecasting ec an exit in La Union Ilocosur area by uh, later today uh, Hong Kong Observatory also expecting that Hainan landfall by uh, early Saturday uh, Saturday morning Philippine time and also it will pass well south of, of Hong Kong here and also our forecast here uh, showing uh, Wanting to track north of Baguio in about an hour or two and then moving to uh, La Union or Ilocos Sur there also expecting wanting to remain tropical storm possibly could become a typhoon if uh, f co f conditions are favorable and will remain favorable uh, across its its movement uh, across the the South China Sea here and um, again showing that track well south of Hong Kong that is the forecast for today and uh, encouraging you to uh, always listen to the local news uh, channels radio stations but as definitely for the uh, official warnings uh, for your cities and also with, with your local government for possible enforced evacuations especially those areas prone to landslides and flash floods uh, we will have another video update for tomorrow for uh, for not 10 uh, around this uh, same time and we will also upload our video update for tropical depression 11w near yap 
in about an hour so stay tuned for that as well again this is our update until next time bye bye